Okay, now we have the, the return down. We have the ability to mark out our lead off. The next thing we'll bring in is the secondary lead. I'm sure you guys do this in some way. Here are a few details I like to break down. Number one, when Kevin does this, he has to be smooth in his secondary shuffles. He can't put all his effort into trying to get as far as he can because the timing of when the ball crosses the plate is very important. We need to be moving to second base in that direction while making that read. If we're stopped because we put too much effort in, we're gonna get a bad jump, so it doesn't matter. We need to be able to re get really good dirt ball reads. We need to be able to be really good at going first to third. So Kevin, go ahead and mark, walk your old school lead off. So he'll walk his lead off. He'll get a good second air and just stay out there. From that position, we need to be able to make a read. We need to be able to, be able to react right off the bat with no wasted movement. Come on back. Now Kevin's going to walk off the secondary and return. So we have some, some details here. The best way we can prevent a, a back pick is by looking athletic in our first two steps. So Kevin, can you get a secondary and show kind of your first couple steps coming back? So if he looks like that while he's getting back, the catcher's not going to want to throw behind, and that's my favorite way of dealing with a back pick. Let's do that one more time. I'm going to break down one more detail for you here. Kevin's going to get a secondary. Go ahead. As he comes back, he's going to end up in this position here. This is very important. So I want to demand a good throw from the pitcher. So he doesn't have his elbow up and he's not hitting me or anything, but he's being safe here. But he, at the same time, he's being firm. If the pitcher does make a throw here or the catcher makes a throw here at any time, for now we're just talking back pick so it'll come from the catcher, it's got to be a good throw. If he takes me this way at all, I have to deal with Kevin standing there. Kevin, flip your feet around. If Kevin does this, I now have all this room to come and catch a bad throw. If you want to deter back picks, you look aggressive in your first couple steps, and then you make it known, if you don't make a good throw, I'm going to end up at third base, not just at second.